What is going on, boys and girls? I got my girlfriend Annika with me today. Hi. And uh, we are going to do a little bit of very relaxing inshore fishing. Try to be relaxing, but hold on real quick. We got some total Googans over here on that Carolina skiff. <clears throat> and uh, me and Annika came here yesterday to film a little video, you know, catch a couple sheep's head, have a good time. And this guy's got two of his boats running charters sitting on the same spot catching sheep's head. So I was like, all right, I'll let it be. I'll come back tomorrow. He's here again. He's been here all week. The problem with these guys is, first of all, they don't know how to fish. Second of all, they're going to sit on top of the same spot a week in a row and kill every single fish on that spot until there's nothing left and then move spots. That's not, that's not, how, that's not how we do it. Okay? A little bit irritated here with the tomfoolery going on, but <clears throat> it is what it is. All right, so... We're doing a little light tackle fishing. We got some live shrimps in here. Pick them up from the old fishing headquarters. There's your shout out, Pete. And uh, got a little tackle bag. Some jig heads, pliers, leader. And we got the setups. We will go over the setups in a little bit. First, we are going to walk down on the rocks and get set up. This is where we're fishing. Jupiter Inlet. We have the Tom Fleury going on right there. Don't mind that. There's Annika, and uh, we're gonna walk down over there. We'll see you there. Here's what we got going on right now. I got the bucket of shrimp. I got some rods. Annika's got a little bucket with a bag of tackle in there for when she breaks off. And uh, <clears throat> and also, we're gonna take a little sheep's head home, do a little catch and cook. It's blowing today. Can't go offshore. Also, haven't had the boat in a couple weeks. So. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of intro fishing for you. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is Brett Murrow. This is the recreational community of people. Pretty solid here. Pretty, pretty solid. And, uh, baby, what do you think? I just helped those people leave. Take it. Yeah, look at the tomfoolery going on over here. Mad tomfoolery. This is what we got going on. This is a Penn Slammer 2500. Got 15 pound braid on it. A little bit of 30 pound fluorocarbon. Little jig head. You ready, baby? You're gonna get bites pretty quick, so come here. Taking a little live shrimp. Live scrimpy. Doo doo. Going like this. He's moving, thank the Lord. So here's what we got going on. Going like this. Then babe, watch. You just tossing it that far. You gotta let it sink and hit bottom. As soon as it hit bottom, you're gonna lock it up. You're gonna get bites right away, all right? So hold your rod and wait. Wait for the good bites and set the hook. <clears throat> Go, oh, baby, a lot harder than that. Real, 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 lift your rod tip up. Oh, you lost them. So baby, watch. One time, let me demonstrate. Cast it out. This is the Penn Authority. She's fishing with a slammer. We are doing some comparison foolery today. You gotta set the hook hard, baby. Look, I got a nice sheep's head there. Wow, this authority's lights out. Things lights out, babe. And a nice sheep here. Very nice sheep. Oh my God, baby, we got a Kubera. First, first bait, we got a nice, look at this. It's a Kubera. See him? Come on, baby, that's our dinner fish. First bait, let it, we could just go home. Oh, baby, give me the bucket. <laughs> look at that thing. Grab the bag, grab the bag, put it on the ground. Wait, the bag. Nice job, baby. Oh my, you probably you know had it. I did so much. You did. Look at that. Look at the Tom Foley that just occurred. I told Gypsy Snook action to leave. He left. First bait down. We get this beautiful, you know, two, three pound Kubera. Jig head in the corner of his mouth. That is a perfect eating fish.
Turn around, baby. Hold him up. Sideways, honey. <laughs> the Tom Ford, that's a current. Hey, baby, he's getting away. He's being a bee. Oh, no. Honey. Oh, we lost our Kubera. <laughs> nice going, we'll get Annie. Back. Give me some. We'll I can't, I cannot believe the Tom Sweeney that just occurred. I really can't. All right, well, we shall catch something else. Let's put baits back out. I, I don't know what to say. It's no big deal. We're just doing some inshore fishing. Who cares? Hopefully he swam off and still lived. He was out of the water for a little bit, so hopefully. The one that got away from Anakin. I can't believe it. Babe, I'm really disappointed. The authority is sick, by the way. Whoa! Too far? No, that's perfect. I can't believe first bait we caught a Kubera. I really can't, I can't believe it. What do we got? It literally looks like another little Little Kubera. Nope. Chub foolery. What in the Tom Swank foolery is going on with that? Chub foolery, Annie. We do not eat those. That is Chub foolery. Annie, real. Okay, you're on a rock. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Give it to me. So, baby. I'm doing good. If you don't get bit right away, you probably already got bit and lost your shrimp and didn't notice. You are doing good. There's the boy, Matt Moss. Oh, huh. must be his dad. All right, here you go. <clears throat> So baby, once you cast out, here, once you cast out, let it sink for like five seconds and then lock it up right away. That is all we're doing. Very simple, very organic. So I got, I put 20 pound on here. looks like I should have put 15, but 2,500 authority. These things just came out. They're super, super sweet. Um, you guys got to check them out. Baby, that was lunch. I can't believe you. I know, I feel so bad. It slipped like right out of my hand. I know, it really looked like it. Something small here. Oh, he just got off. Are you Tom swanking me? That one's dead, baby. It'll still work, though. I really like this reel, baby. Do you like your reel? I really like it. The new pens are unbelievable. That thing's clean looking. Wow. That's a sheep bite. That's a sheep bite for sure. I could just tell by the way you laid up on it. Get him. Oh, baby. Hold on, let it sit. You gotta do more hook set. I might have another Kubera here. He's really digging me in the rock. Now it looks like sheep foolery. Man, he is all over the rocks. What in the Tom Swank? Chub foolery? That thing fought like a Kubera. You get bit, babe? Yeah. What in the chub genre is? Oh, just splashed me. Oh, there we go, baby. That's, oh my God, a tarpon! Are you Tom fooling me? Wait, baby, don't cast. How the heck did I hook a tarpon on a, a, a head of a shrimp? Oh, just jumped me off. That was very unexpected, boys and girls. I, 
I had a head, I literally got cut off in half and I had a head of a shrimp and I just hooked like a 30, 40 pound tarp and I was sick. I would've been sick to land. There's a lot of action going on. Hey, did you get bit? I thought I was about to have another Kubera there and then, nope, just a tarpon. Babe, you'd be stoked on the tarpon. Oh no. It's okay, just hook, just take the head off and just hook the body. <laughs> head came right off. All right, so what we're doing is I'm fishing a 3 16th. This is a half ounce jig head, I believe. Maybe a 3 8 I don't know. We are gonna give Annika a little bit more jig head so she can get back down to bottom quicker and feel her bites a little bit easier. Just doing a little loop knot. Boom, doom, balloon, just like that. Cut my tag in. Put it in my mouth because I'm a conservative. And then just like that. And loop knot allows you to fish a little bit more freely and let your jig go wherever. Right, baby? Right, baby. Okay. Oh, shrimp almost got away. Okay, babe, get out there. Get him, baby. Lift your rod tip up. What do you got? Something small. Oh. All right, hot shot. Don't stop reeling. Keep your rod tip up. Looks like chub foolery. What we got? What we got? Pin spot. Spot foolery. Let me hold the rod for you. What do you guys say, baby? Look at the camera. <laughs> He's so stoked. She is so stoked, you guys, she doesn't even know what to say. <laughs> you are just dumbfounded. This isn't a Kubera, so I'm not stoked. There you go, hold him right there. Huh? Now just dump him in the crack right there, he'll be all right. Hi, Baby, you did so good. I know. Here, wash your, wash your hands off, they're raggedy. Baby, you got the whole casting thing down, no doubt. I can't even cast as good as you. What can I say? Oh my goodness! Here, you go back on your rock. This is a good shrimp here, you guys. I'm gonna see if I can find another tarpon out in the, out in the yonder section. I gotta go back to the truck, change the GoPro battery. Annika is gonna hold down the fort here. You know, let me just let me just tell you guys something. My this is the new GoPro, the Hero 10. It sucks. I have nothing but problems with it. It's about to turn off in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it just turns off every 20 seconds, says GoPro got too hot. What do you mean GoPro got too hot? It's supposed to be outside. It's not even hot today. It's like 70 degrees. So I don't know. I don't know. Jumped off a nice tarpon, had a Kubera in the bucket. Annika decided she didn't like it, wanted to let it go. And uh, yeah, trying out the new pens. Got the slammer, got the authority, both 2500s. Pretty sick reels, I will say so myself. Um, I, I, I don't know, you guys. Doesn't look like I'm eating anything for lunch. Put a new battery in. Just put a new battery back in hopefully the gopro doesn't heat we are on our way over to the carnage grounds and annika caught a giant hey the moving weight team needs to know what they missed out on let's get an update here what, what what's going on i caught one fish i killed him because i couldn't get the hook out of his mouth i'm trying to get adam back who's kubera it's a work in progress Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. 
looks like I'm gonna get back to fishing. Oh baby, I got our sheeps. Feels like. What in the Tom Swain? Are you kidding? What? Size like that spot foolery. What is up with the Tom Swanker going on here? I'm about to put a goofy jig on. I brought it. I brought it. I know. You don't got to call me crazy, baby. All right, I'm going goofy jig. I'm doing it. Why can't we catch something to eat? Oh, wait. Annika dropped it on her feet. That's a poem I wrote by Beverly Dringus. Listen, you guys, fishing's getting tough. We are pretty much out of shrimp. We got like three shrimp left. If it doesn't happen here, I'm gonna have to continue on the video. Annika's just let, feeding the fish, you know, just standardly. Babe, you're doing really good. All right, it is the next day after yesterday. Jump in the water. Baby, you're not allowed to do anything after losing that fish. Look, here's the scoop. Here's the scoop -aroni. I didn't eat yesterday. Um, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. If so, babe, come on. I really can't anymore with this boat. You guys have no idea. You literally have no idea. It, if, if you knew what I've spent on this boat, I just want to throw up talking about it. But here's the deal. I couldn't eat yesterday. Annika lost my food. Dropped it back in the water. We are back for a redemption shot today. Back at the beautiful Jupiter Inlet. And uh, we got some scrims, same setup. Let's do it. Let's go kit them. All right, we got Annika set up with the first. And when I say first, I mean it. Why'd you pass it? Babe, you know how you are. Just get ready. First shrimp of the day. I don't know who he's talking about. All we need is one sheep set and we're going home. Here. Cast them back out, baby. He's still good to go. Baby. That, now that is peculiar. Cast? Oh. know that something ate his butt. What do we got here, baby? Blue runner foolery. Oh, it's a little yellow jack. Yeah, you could eat them, but that thing was so small. <laughs> what is up with the little yellow jacks here? Man, we could eat that. that that'd be down bad, though. Little yellow jack. That would be down bad activity, honey. Get him, did you get a good bite? Get him. Annika has got one on. Hey, that's a good fish. Don't lose him. What do we got? Hey, he's fighting like a sheep. Say, keep reeling, don't stop reeling. Oh my God, look at the sheep's head right here. Yellow Jack. I just saw a sheep's head right here, though. Hey, baby, it's okay. Very good. Dude, the sheep's head just followed you up right there. See him? See him with stripes? Dr cast it past that rock. Just drop it down. Pitch it right off the rock and just drop it down. He just followed you up. Yep. Drop it right there, baby. You're gonna get bites right when you hit bottom. You gotta let him eat it. Close it up. Get him, baby. You got the rock.
a freaking spot for it. I caught a freaking giant spot. Let's go. All right, boys and girls, we just got back to the house. I got this beautiful sheep's head. It's actually been sitting on ice for like three days. That's why his eyes look a little bit foggy. But I promise you, he's good. He has been sitting on ice for three, four days in the angle cooler. And uh, my GoPro was acting up so bad that day. I'm, hurt. I'm sure you heard me complain about it. Annika caught this sheep's head. Of course, I couldn't film. I was turning it on, then the GoPro would turn off two seconds later. Long story short, I got very frustrated with the GoPro, and I just put it in my truck, and we just did a little bit of fun fishing. We got something on camera. We got some fish on camera, but the sheep's head we did not get on camera. Beautiful sheep said This is the one we were after. We only needed one for dinner. Doing a little filleting with the new knife. I just filleted some yellows, yellow eyes with it, and uh, really enjoyed that. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut this up. Sheep said are a very scaly and tough fish to fillet, so you need a good knife. So they kind of have this weird, uh, like almost lining under their dorsal fin that you can pop the knife right in, and then start working your way up, just like that. Want to get the scales off the knife. Keep working your way down the backbone. Beautiful sheep's head fillet. That's what we're looking at. I don't know what that ragginess in his belly. We will trim that out first. We're gonna skin the fish. There's not a crazy amount of meat on sheep's head, but they're so delicious because all they eat is crustaceans. Look at that meat. That's a big bloodline. That is a big bloodline for a little for an old sheepy. Come here. Cut out the stomach lining. We don't want any of that. That's all Tom Foolery, Rib Cage, Tom Johnnery. I'm gonna go ahead and say something like this. For somebody that's gonna keep that and pick off the meat and the bones, you're very suspicious. You guys gotta figure out something else to do in life other than waste your time on that. You know? Cut the pin bones out. Look at that, beautiful sheep's head filet. Yes, there is some bloodline on the back. That's actually like the most bloodline I've ever seen on sheep's head. I don't know why yeah. that is. Um, you can see how it's not dense bloodline, it's kind of spotty. It's super fresh and red, so it doesn't matter. Like, if this was a fish you brought from Penders or wherever the heck your seafood market is around the world, this would be like a dark red, kind of, if you smelt it, kind of funky, kind of like yellow yellowness on the outside of the bloodline touching the meat. You, you don't want anything to do with that fish, trust me. It may, the guy Penders may say, oh, you just cut around that. If you have to cut around that to eat a fish, that's very suspicious. Go out, catch your own fish, catch a fresh fish, and cook it. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got. And we're gonna go inside and cook it. If you guys enjoy, are enjoying the video, please go ahead, drop a like. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment. I, I want at least 500 comments on this video. 500, that's all I'm asking for. Nobody, nobody comments on the move and weight videos anymore. What is going on with that, boys and girls? We need to get the engagement rolling again. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. We'll see you back inside. All right, we are in the kitchen. It has been a very, very, very long time since we have done a catch and cook here on moving weight fishing. It's just, it's a, uh, it's a lot to do a catch and cook. You know, it's a lot easier for me just to make the video of my day fishing and then, boom, try and upload a video. But uh, we're gonna do it. We got, we got Annie here. Hi guys. And uh, we are gonna do a little bit of cooking. Got the sheep's head over here annika is prepping something i don't know she's just she's getting right to it babe what do we got going on why don't you fill i'm just making in? some little sides i'm gonna roast some peppers and some peppers Pe peppers some broccoli that, and I mean, some that sweet looks potato. like broccoli to me i could be wrong garlic powder you can never go wrong with too much garlic yeah you can they're so rinky i have to figure out how i'm cooking this sheep's head I don't know. I have been tying sea witches for the past few hours. Let me show you what the counter looks like. It's uh, <clears throat> it's Trap Scott. This is what we got going on. Yeah. Mm hmm But that is also what we got going on. Come on, ready? Let me show you guys a little bit of magic. Try and get the mylar to fall down. I only have one hand to show you guys. Come on, tell me how they ain't money. I know it's money. I don't even need you to tell me. So, uh, yeah. We are going wahoo fishing in the morning, so I thought I'd tie up some fresh riches. 
All right, Annika just put the broccoli and the sweet potatoes in. No, she didn't. <laughs> I don't know how to turn the oven on. Let me show. Let me show everybody how to turn the oven on. We go upper oven. What are we doing? Three fifty. Three seventy five. Three seven five. That. You did so good. I did so good. I'm really good at that. All right, let let hold on one second. Let me figure out what we're doing. Okay, Annika. <laughs> Prepared some broccoli and sweet potato. Baby, baby, what do we got going on here? Why don't you just go give us a little We're presentation. We're going to roast the broccoli and the sweet potatoes. And We're going to roast them how and where? In the oven at 375. Really? Do you know really? how to turn the oven on? I didn't. Adam did help me a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. For some reason, Annika doesn't want to be on camera. Don't know why, but here's what we got. That is a Meyer lemon. Grew it on the tree outside. I didn't. My brother Daniel did. We got a knife. We were going to cut the lemon. Like so? It's like an orange and a lemon. They're delicious. We were eating them just like this the other day. Taking big bites. They were so good. Look at the juice out of here. Oh my. Oh, there's a seed. Your protein. Babe, look at me. We got a uh, garlic and wine seasoning from the melting pot. Don't know where we got it from, but it's in the drawer and it's from the melting pot. I'm just sprinkling a little bit on both sides of the sheep's head. Just, just, just a skosh. Okay. I'm gonna put the fish in here. Put the fish in there. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait. Me too. Look at mayonnaise and fish. Ooh. It looks like we're eating kingfish. By the way, any of you out there watching, if you guys eat kingfish. We may know of those. They make a really good smoked fish dish. Who are you gonna call? Pompano Paul. <laughs> we were over at Pompano Paul a few days ago showing me how to uh, attempt to make a sampley rake. And uh, he had I think his buddy Bobby brought over some fish dip, brought out some crackers, Annika didn't like it. I liked it a lot. Now, Annika's doesn't even like seafood in the first place, so. I don't. She doesn't. She is a tree hugger and she eats plants. <laughs> You're good at that. We were trying to get some excess butter out of here and or lemon. Put the so-called fish on there. This is, you know what guys, this actually, I've never done anything like this, so I don't even know what to say. That's that's all. What, babe, why didn't we Why didn't we just pour it in a pan and then put the fish in there? Oh, baby, I expected you to melt it so much more than this is what I wanted you to grab. Let's scoot a little bit so we can show the camera what I was talking about. Um, is it in here? Oh wait. Like a this thing, and then with that melted butter, just give it like a little nice or layer. We just poured it but on. instead, you decided to literally pour a whole cup of butter in a bag and just put it in there with unmelted butter. But you know what? It could be good. It could be great. Yeah, but we could have just put it all in the pan and then like. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Put it on there like it would be uh, almost like a. Uh, you know what? It's gonna be okay. That looks like some suspicious fish. It does. What it's is going Kevin on? Cook it. Yeah, this looks like some fish Kevin bought from Pinders. AKA my dad. He'd be like, I'm cooking fish tonight. And me and Adam would show up and be like, mmm. Mmm, Kevin looks so good. I'm not hungry tonight. <laughs> I already ate. We love him though. Gotta love him. Gotta love Kevin. Me too. Look at him. Doing the woman's job cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, cut that out. Dan, put that in the video. My idea was to pour it on here and then just spoon it on there. Well, it smells really good. I'm gonna go prepare the rice. Yeah, Annika's gonna go prepare the rice. That's what she does best. Cooking. And uh, cooks. So, we are going to finish cooking here. And then we'll give you an update on the Pender's fish. That looks like Pender's fish. You look like Pender's fish. Goodbye.
Wait. All right, Annie, what do we got? Okay, we just took the sweet potatoes out. I ended up taking the broccoli out a little bit before because I didn't want it to burn. And we got the There's rice the assembled in the bowl. We got the questionable fish. It might be good. We don't know. We're not going to judge a book by its cover. Little bowls. Are we making bowls, Annie? You didn't tell anybody. Okay. I guess we'll just watch it in silence here. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Okay. Now I'm picking up the thing. I'm, I'm gonna use the fork to move the sweet potato to pour into the bowl. Am I talking about it? Like You're so. You're doing really good, baby. Now everybody's gonna watch the video. Now everybody knows what's going on. Exactly. People didn't know what was going on before. They didn't. They're like, okay. what the heck is happening? There right, guys. All jokes aside, I'm sure this meal is gonna be really good. I was like, we gotta film a catch and cook, blah, blah, come over. Now Annika has gotta go to drive to Fort Lauderdale to see her mama. So. Well, we're gonna eat and everything. Look at the bowls, they actually turned out nice. Broccoli, sweet potato, rice, fish. Ooh, pour your green dressing on there. Okay, and we're about to give a shout out. Not hey, you can't give free shout outs on the channel. Okay, I know I'm doing it. It's so good, Trader Joe's not sponsored green goddess dressing all of their dressing really it's quite amazing you put it on rice you put it on we put it on chicken um you put it on a salad mm. it's pretty good it is really good we are gonna sit down i'll see you guys when we sit down this is what i got i ain't got a lot of money mm. looks pretty good babe it does it doesn't look bad a little taste test. You have a sweet potato in there. A little piece of fish. Mmm. <laughs> good? It actually came out really good. Mmm. Wait, the camera can't see that. You're just dropping it. The cleaning lady was just here. Mmm. It was even on there for too long. Mmm. Pesto sauce, so good. Mm -hmm. Try the sweet potatoes with a piece of rice. Mm -hmm. Try the broccoli. Mm. Hey, I can't wait. I'm gonna take a bite of this panini. Mm. Fish is good. Sweet potatoes are good. Broccoli is good. Rice is good. Everything's really good. Quick, easy dinner. Took us like 10 minutes to make. Um, don't be afraid to go out there, catch fish, come home, cook it. Like I was saying earlier in the video, don't go to Pender's and buy a fish. Don't. There's no reason to do that. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And not saying that you can't eat it. Like, okay, so steak, you go, you go to Publix and buy a piece of steak. I don't even want to know how that piece of steak got to Publix. It's, it's been through a lot of hands. I do know fish goes through a lot of hands because I'm the one who sells fish. Bring it to the market, get sold. It, it, 10 people have touched that fish and it's been transferred back and forth on different trucks, blah, 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 until it ends up going to your dinner plate. And uh, it's not like you can't eat it, but it's not, it's not fresh. The only way you're going to get fresh fish if you go out fifth. Fish is if you go out, catch it yourself, and eat it. And what we did in this video is, it's organic. very easy. Well, yes, it's organic, but it's very easy. Anybody can do it. We were land-based fishing, caught a nice Kubera, which would have been way better than the sheep's head. Annika said, you know what? Let's put it back in the water. She didn't, she wanted to be a nice gal. And that's what we did. We let it go. We caught a sheep's head and uh, jumped the tarpon. Had a good time. Baby, did you have a good time? I had a 
great time. I appreciate you catching the sheeps every dinner. I told you guys, GoPro's dying on and off, and we did not get it on camera. Very annoying, but whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for liking this video. If you enjoyed the video, for watching this video, liking this video, watching this video, and liking this video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe if you have not already subscribed. I know I got to clean up my mustache. It's starting to hang a little bit. Um, that is all I got for you guys. We will be back on the Parker fishing very, very soon. Hopefully by the next time you see me. And uh, until the next video, what do you think, baby? You liked it? <gasps> I did like it. Excuse me. And thank you for dinner, baby. Oh my gosh, so you're so welcome. I know, I did such a good job cooking. Listen, I'm not Victor or anything. <laughs> but uh, dinner's tastes good. Take it easy. Say it.